Okay. I was having problems putting these plastic clips back in here. I'm sick of going out and paying $7 to $9 each for them. Even on eBay, they're expensive. Just to hold on this back section. So what I've done, I bought some clips from Super Cheap. That's the ones there. They're a little bit square. They fit in nice and neat. They're the ones I'm going to use. And down here, where these holes are, if you can see it, those holes are there. I'm going to um, I'm going to put a piece of plastic there, so that I can push these clips into, and that should retain it all back in. And then you don't have to keep on buying those clips; you just keep on pulling it out whenever you want to take it off and take the seat out. So I put all these new foams on this on the seats. Um, they didn't have any driver side ones, but the passenger side ones fit exactly the same. Just got to undo all these tabs on the seats. There's a couple up on here as well, a couple on the side, and the whole lot just comes off with the fabric and just change your seats. You can do that to anything anything you want. You can even take this top section here off and put it over on the dry on the passenger side so you've got a lumber support in the passenger if you want. Alright? So I'll uh, make the parts up and we'll put it together. So these are the old clips. They're a one-way they're a one-way setup. They normally have two little barbs coming up on the top edge here going back up from where my fingers are. Um, they, they're they just made to break off and just and just replace. Hold and just think that uh, people got made of money and you can just keep on buying parts. Right here, so this is what I'm gonna use to um, fix to the back of the seat. It's just a party applicator. They're very residual and it should do the job. It should hold the um, hold it in nice and easy without uh, breaking each, each, each time you take it out. So there it is. I'm going to cut it in half with a pair of tin snips. Just cut it exactly in half and that should be enough. I'm going to use these rubber grommets. They seem to slide on top of that um, the clips nice and easy and grip very good. So I'm going to put them inside it. Plus just gives it a bit of a buffer if it um, springs up and down a bit. So I've cut it in half and it fits exactly over where it's got to go. It just fits in nicely. Just put a couple of pop rivets in and we're ready to do the rest. Right now, so just grab your your pieces of plastic, a one eighth panel screw um, drill, and your cordless drill, and just drill the holes on the top and the bottom. So there you go. I drill them about ten mil down and in the middle. If they do break at any stage, at least you've got plenty of other meat to, to uh, put a pop rivet in on, on each side instead of putting in four of them. All right. Right, to line it up, all you got to do is just place it in there. It fits in, neat, in neatly. Line it up and just put a witness mark on each spot that you drill those holes. And you'll be able to just drill it off without the plastic there. Now we're just going to pop rivet it in. There you go, they're pop riveted on. I actually went up a size. I went up to 4mm because I had a bigger head on the pop rivet. Um, and, it's, and it worked a bit better. Next step, get a piece of masking tape. Loosely lay it on there because that's going to show you uh, where to drill the hole. For the uh, for the bracket, because these little um, clips have got points on them, and they're very pointy. So, because they've got a point on them, they'll leave a mark where the, where we've got to drill the hole. So now I'm going to fit this back into where it's got to go, and we'll, and we'll press on it, and that'll leave a mark there. And then we can drill that out, and we can put our our grommets in, and then we just put it back on, and it be, should be all fitting up nice and neat. As you can see, tapped them on each one of them. You can see with the little little dot mark. Of where we've got to drill the holes. Oh yeah, very easy. Right, as you can see, I'm using an eight millimeter grommet with an eight millimeter drill. As long as the drill fits inside the grommet, when you go to put it on, it'll fit. It'll fit where it's got to go because it will. You'll squash the rubber up to fit it in. So just drill an eight mil hole now. I've already, put, I've already drilled a four mil hole now in the panel, but yeah, just drill the eight mil hole now through it. And then you'll be able to fit the grommet through, and then everything just push in nice and neat. There's the eight mil holes done. Now I'm going to fit right the grommet. So I fitted the grommet. This is the clip that we're using. These are the clips that we're using. All right, just buy them from the from super cheap or wherever. They'll just fit in that grommet hole just nice and neat. There you go, fits in nice and neat. And 
it just pulls out. I like that. Done. Beautiful. One thing I did forget to mention is this piece of um, retainer there that retains the bottom, so it has to come off. Be very careful, those edges are very sharp. Wear gloves when you're doing it, but as you can see, all the holes are lining up through the, through the center of it. You can slide it back and forth a little bit, but we're ready to put the seat uh, pocket back on. And there you go. You've done everything right. You can't pull it back off. Perfect. All right, so that's probably an easier way. Not an easy way, but a better way of putting them back on there, and you can remove it whenever you want without having to go out and buy new clips. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.